So what are we doing today? Uh, I don't know if I do a poem. Yeah, mm. that's cool. So yeah, you were a model before, and your hair was long, and yeah. we did this retro cut. But the only thing is we didn't film it because we weren't set up for filming yet. But this is your hair as, as it's grown out over time, yeah. which is awesome. It just it does look amazing. Yeah, it's exactly right. what we yeah. wanted for um, the, you know, this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Too bad we didn't film it. So we're filming the perm. Yeah. Um, as for perms, um, we got the different size rollers. So. That's going to be too loose. That's tighter because you get a little bit tighter. Mm -hmm. And we also have the red ones and the yellow ones. So the red ones are even tighter. And that's the, that's the tightest one. They can get even tighter than that, mm -hmm. but it's like, how tight of a perm do you want? Yeah. Do you want to go tight? Mm -hmm. Or somewhere in between? Uh, somewhere in between. Yeah, I'd rather go somewhere in between as well. So I'm going to go with the red ones. Okay. Um, blue ones, what happens if it's, you know, if they're too loose, it just drops to nothing right. to yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, you're probably not getting enough out of that. We're going to get more out of that. Okay. And then the yellow ones are going to be a little too much. Okay. So we'll go with the red ones. Sweet. Yeah. Um, I'll be second. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there's emergencies <laughs> up there. Year, like no, not even year. Eleven months since we had our last case in Wellington. Yeah, I think so. In April yeah. last year. So it's like a, yeah, eleven months in the city with no cases. Yeah. And that's why if you you know walk people are walking by not wearing any masks, mm -hmm. the rest of the world is still locked down. Living like it's 1999. <laughs> it's crazy. It is crazy. Yeah, we'll come over. We're going to wash it.
was just thinking, I, I'm a hypocrite because I remember my high school girlfriend saying she wanted to get a perm. And I said, don't get a perm. <laughs> so she never got her perm. I thought it was a good like bum. Yeah. And then I think eventually I said, I think we did fight over it. And then I think I might just said, you know what, if you want to get a perm, just get a perm. And then she's like, oh, I love you, because it was about giving her consent. She oh, wanted yeah, to get yeah. the perm anyway. Mm. <laughs> but, um, well, I was doing, I was cutting hair in high school and so stuff. Oh, okay. I was cutting her hair anyway. She's like, what if I got a perm? <laughs> I think her friend got one. Yeah. And then when her friend was going for another one, she wanted to get one. I don't tell a girl what to do, but I tell a girl not to get up. Yeah. <laughs> we did fight over it. I remember that. It's true. You shouldn't tell a girl what to do, but also because I was cutting her hair was a bit controlling. Hmm. Not over her, over her hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. And also, she got the permit, which is what they were like, oh. Yeah. Because it's like not my work, it's someone else's yeah. work. And when you're like spooning or cuddling and stuff like that, you're like, oh. Can we just shave off this perm? Which yeah. is awful. Yeah. <laughs> so I would have, it wouldn't have ended well. Mm. The potential of breakup. Because I can't stand looking at this perm. <laughs> I said, no, it's the perm. It's the perm. It's the perm. Yeah. Sorry. Maybe get a pixie and we'll get back together. Yeah. Then what is <laughs> Think about that pixie. Yeah. Um, when Sam and I met up with a friend of his and his girlfriend. Yeah. And, um, because I, yeah, I always had quite a long hair. Yeah. Um, and she was like, oh. He would never let me cut my hair that short. I'm like, mm, well, okay. That's well, that's not the way it goes. No. It's your it's hair. Not whether or not someone would let you. Yeah, it's would you want to. Would you want to. Yeah. It comes up. There are some guys who like long hair. Yeah. There are actually some guys who like short hair or bald. Or mm. I have one client who has a partner who likes shaved heads on girls. Oh, okay. And so she's like, oh, I'd like to do shave my head. I'm like, did you want to shave your head? She's she never did. Yeah. But you no, know, not necessarily like shaving the whole thing, like shaved undercuts or things like that, like that edgy kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like she showed me pictures of what he likes. I'm like, yeah, that's cool, mm. but it's not her. Yeah. I'm like, that stuff is cool, but you know, but if he likes that kind of stuff, you know, why? Well, you know, love, love is love is bizarre. Mm. You just you fall in love with people for no rhyme or reason. Yeah. It is what it is. And your ideal sometimes is a disaster. And then your opposite is that you like partnership. Yeah. Oh, here we go. That's cool. The creatures of Wellington. Mm. I think my high school girlfriend, if I could have done the perm, mm. I would have done it. I thought it wasn't doing perms by then. Yeah. I think it was the um, someone else doing her, not me. Yeah, fair enough. That was what it was.
it's good one for her. She had long hair. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Yeah. It's nice, you know, every so often. Give her trims and things like that, yeah. but it was long hair. And I never, the conversation was cutting it. I, I never brought it up. Yeah. But you know what she started to do? Mm-hmm. She called me and she did. Like, it's also, it goes back to her playing games with me. <laughs> the pro was one of her games, probably, too. Right. So she called me and she's like, oh, I went, you know, because we went to separate high school, so we would be calling her again. What'd you do today? She goes, oh, I went to the mall. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's cool. What'd you do there? She goes, oh, I gotta tell you something. I'm like, what? She's like, I got a haircut. I'm like, why would you do that? <laughs> you just try to get, yeah. you just gotta, and then she's like, oh, it's so bad. <laughs> and then she goes, psych. Because <laughs> that was the thing, she always say psych. I'm yeah. like, oh, you know. So she did that a couple of times, and then, you know, I'm like, oh, whatever. So eventually that doesn't work anymore. But she's still doing it. So yeah. I'm just like, whatever. Yeah. Oh, God. Cut my hair. I'm like, oh, whatever. I'm not even listening to it anymore. <laughs> so what happened was it was just for Easter, and um, yeah, she had long, long hair. Mm. So it's just for Easter, and I think we, you know, I used to crush her house a lot. And um, we woke up in the morning. What do you want to do today? She goes, Oh, see, we'll go to the mall get a haircut. <laughs> so I said to her, I said, Why don't you go take a shower? When you get out, I'll, I'll give you a haircut. Mm. And she said, Okay. So she took a shower. She got out. So I put a stool down in the bathroom. Yeah. I sat her down. I put her head straight down. I took the first step, I cut it way up to there. Oh so I cut off this big chunk. I didn't tell her anything. Yeah. Just went, and then she went, what are you doing? I said, three months of you you're saying you're going to cut your hair. It's, yeah. it's happening now. Yeah. So no more psych. <laughs> so that was the first time. And I bobbed it. Mm. Oh, did she ever love that haircut though? Mm. Did she ever love it? But um, no, you know, she was like playing with my head for three months. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, uh, I got pictures of it. I can show you mm. later. Um, it, was, it was an amazing haircut. But it's cool I kept those pictures because it shows my work yeah. when I was, um, I was a teenager still. So it shows my work back then. Yeah. And then eventually we went shorter with it and then eventually we grew back. Mm. Yeah. And I had long hair in mm. high school. So I was the boyfriend with the long hair mm. and beard and she was the girlfriend with the cool short haircuts. <laughs> so anyway, we were together first. We were both long hair. Yeah. And they were cool. But when she first went to the bob, they looked cool. Mm. And then you go from there. And then you end up with the full cool short haircuts on her, and then me with the long hair and beard. <laughs> so it was a good looking couple. Yeah. But I looked, because the reason why I had long hair and a beard is because back then, if you, had a, if you had long hair and a beard, you got into a bar. Mm-hmm. And you were only 17 or 18 <laughs> or whatever. But yeah. you're like, oh, you're, you're good, you're good. And so that's why you did that. She looked younger. She wouldn't. No, well, she looked, she, well, maybe, but I would, have, I would have an easier time. Yeah. So that's why you did stuff like that back then. But today, you don't have a chance of getting into a bar if you're young, no matter if you look older, because they, you know, anyone looks like you've been 30, yeah. you get ID. Mm-hmm. No chance. So the kids today don't bother looking older. There's no chance anyway. Mm-hmm. But for us, most kids like to look older, so they get so Yeah. But yeah, I remember like after school, walking your dog in the park. Blah blah blah, you know, and whatever. So the next day, she I'm not with her. She's but she's alone, walking her dog in the park. Mm. And one of the neighbors is like, "Oh, I saw you walking your dog with your dad yesterday." Oh, <laughs> We're both the same age, yeah. but you know, from a distance, I guess I look like her, mm. like her dad. Yeah. And she's like, "Oh no, that was my boyfriend." And I'm like, "Why are you?" you no, know, she's like seven year old girl. Like, oh, your boyfriend's a man. <laughs> <laughs> They're all confused. Yeah. And she thought it was funny. She calls me. She's like, "Oh." Neighbors thought you were my dad. <laughs> I'm like laughing. He said it's my boyfriend. They thought that was even weirder. <laughs> like, she, yeah, I wouldn't explain anything to them. Uh, <laughs> Just leave it. Yeah. It's funny. But you ever watch the 70s show, like that character yeah. Hyde? Oh, how yeah. he looks so much older and mature? Because mm. that was really common back then. Kids were like that. Yeah. Now kids are more goofier. Turns out that actor is a creepy guy anyway. Yeah. About that the other way, yeah. I was like, cool, messed um, it up. Yeah, but it's cool that the Kelso and what's her name? They're, they're married now, yeah. Or they're together now. Yeah, I don't know if they're married um, all these years later. I think she was, might um, still be married. I think she was 14 when they cast her. Yeah, she's really young. Yeah, they had kids together. Yeah, yeah. Ashton Kutcher and what's her name? Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis, yeah. yeah. She's really good. She, yeah. Because I think um, they asked her when she would be 18, and all she said was, on my birthday, and didn't say when her birthday was. Yeah. Um, and they didn't find out until... It was too late. Yeah. 
She's smart. Mm. She's Ukrainian. That's why she's smart. Yeah. Savvy. <laughs> I think she was born in Ukraine too. I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think she. She's savvy. Her family moved over. Yeah, so she learned a few things. Yeah. Like that. And she's saying I was with um, Macaulay Culkin for a while too. Yeah, they were together for a while. Because yeah. I think she was with Ashton during the series and they broke up and she got with Macaulay Culkin. And I don't know much about him, but I used to do hair for one of his friends. Oh, really? So you did say really good things about him. Yeah. Yeah. So I heard I heard good things about what Colin Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, he's just he'll do so much for a person. Yeah, I think he just had a bad drug habit. Oh, that's I mean, not surprise, yeah. No. But also, you know, child stars and then your yeah, parents yeah. and money and you have to find your place in the world because that part of your life is finished. Yeah. And where do you want to be in this world? So that's a quest. Mm. So but also, he's such a nice guy, like he'd do anything for anybody. Yeah, yeah. Like his first wife, because he was married to that, she's an actress too. She was in the movie Bully. One oh. of the main girls in Bully, if you remember that movie. So he's married to her. Yeah. And it didn't work out. But I think even after they were separated, he still would do anything for mm -hmm. her. You know, like you don't, you know, just because it's falling apart, yeah. he still would do anything for her. So that's some of the stories I've heard. Because I did hear from one of the guys that was in Bully, mm. who was in Bully with her. Mm -hmm. And that's how he knew um, her and Macaulay Culkin. And then he's relaying those stories to me. Yeah, that's cool. So, yeah. Small world. Yeah. It was a long time ago as well. <laughs> so I'd never seen Bully until he was telling me a little stuff. I was yeah. Like, Maybe I should actually see that movie. I actually liked it. Mm. But yeah, true story reenactments of a murder. Mm. That's right up my alley. <laughs> and Florida. That <laughs> takes place in Florida. Yeah. And they fed him to the gators. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's a movie I'm gonna I gotta see that movie. <laughs> I saw a few people um, or a post circulating on I think Instagram oh, yeah. about how um, they're doing another movie about a murderer. And everyone was like, they should stop doing this because it's just like encouraging people. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it sensationalizes these things. Yeah. And also with the close families and stuff. Well, yeah, there was that. But, I don't know. I'm not about government control. No. Or, you know, creativity and stuff. It's an open market. If you don't want to see it, just don't see it. Yeah. You vote with your wallet. Yeah. But when you're getting into that, you know, the blessed part of the problem with cancel culture. Mm. You need to be a little more thick-skinned. Yeah. Some things I agree with the cancel culture, but some things go too far. Yeah. Um, you need to be a little more thick-skinned. Yeah. And if you're truly about equal, uh, equal, then even the ones you disagree with are equal. You know, mm. you have to agree to disagree. Yeah. I may not agree with what you say, but I would fight to the death your right to say it. Yeah. Because that's what free countries are. That's what freedoms are. Yeah. And freedom of speech is the freedom to say something, mm -hmm. and freedom of speech is also the the intense reaction of people who disagree, because mm. they're free to see that too. Yeah. So that's not trying to cancel someone's freedom of speech. He's right. He has every right to say that, but then a million people have every right to respond negatively to what you said, because yeah. they're both freedom of speech. Mm. So it is, when someone's being negative towards something you say, it's not because you shouldn't have said it. You, no, you said it. You had every right to say it. Yeah. But and everyone else has a right to rebut. To disagree, to flood your Twitter, mm. or whatever. They're both freedom of speech. Yeah. You're free to say something, and then people are free to say something otherwise. That's free country. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Cute. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Mm, like I said, maybe we'll go clubbing. <laughs> let's, just go yeah. let's go to the club now with that. There we go. Because there is the rave tonight. Oh, let's yeah. go to the rave with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be fun. It would be fun. And yeah, we're going to come over and we'll do the solutions and stuff over here. Yeah, come this way. Okay. I'll turn those videos up. Now we blast you. 
always fun to do something. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. Even better when you could back in the days when you could smoke. <laughs> Get under these with smoking and then doing your um, magazines. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Mm. Coffee, tea, water, anything? Um, maybe just food. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just some Thank you. Cool. Oh, this is fun. Yeah. Ooh. First time seeing curly hair. Yeah. So much fun. So yeah. You, would, you wouldn't want to comb it or anything right. after a shower. Yeah. I'm going to use that because okay. I can. These are cool little tools. Um, but also, sometimes you would just do like the tail of a comb. Mm -hmm. Just that kind of thing. So, but you would never want to comb this ever. Yeah. You're just going to create it first. Okay. So, what we'll do is we'll dry it. Um, We'll give it some French. Do you want it the French part or do you want it back? Mm, forward. Yeah, yeah, I think forward. Yeah. We'll get a little French. Super cute though. It's fun. Yeah. Show your boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. He's cool. Oh, yeah. I'll put class to that machine for a bit to do a natural dry. Okay. So this just recreates a natural dry like as if the sun did it, but it right. speeds up the process. <laughs> it's a four thousand dollar hair dryer. Wow. Everyone should get one. Yeah. <laughs> Like yeah. yeah, I love that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. So like I said, it's going to take a couple of days to settle in. That's all right. Um, we'll take some shots today, okay. but we'll take some shots again in a couple of days when okay. it's settled in. Cool. Um, so your, yeah, your final shoot will be like Tuesday evening. Okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Enjoy your perm. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Tuesday. Okay. 